Tonight, the Miami Dolphins in the South Florida community have lost a Titan. Jason Jenkins, the team's senior vice president for communications and community affairs, died today. CBS 4's Jim Barry knew him well. Jim, his loss isn't just being felt by the Dolphins and everyone who knew him, but the countless organizations and the people that he championed. Carly, you're absolutely right about that. The Dolphins tonight enjoy a big preseason win, but at the same time suffer a gigantic loss. Jason Jenkins was admired by so many for how he connected this franchise to the community. It was Dolphin President Tom Garfinkel who broke the news tonight of his unexpected passing. Jenkins was actually here at the stadium, and then we learned before kickoff of his unexpected passing, and it just shocked everybody. Garfinkel praised him as a trailblazer. Team owner Stephen Ross says he's heartbroken, saying his dedication to the organization was unmatched. During his 14-year tenure with the team, Jenkins was often Ross's right-hand man, rising through the ranks to go from media relations to a much larger role as the senior vice president of communications and community affairs. And it was in that role that Jenkins really put his stamp on South Florida, connecting this franchise to the community in ways it never had been. He was particularly passionate in supporting charities that helped young people, making sure the Dolphins were more than just a football team, but a real community partner. Tonight, an emotional head coach Mike McDaniel opened his postgame comments with thoughts about Jenkins. It was very impactful to me, the people that, uh, just how many people in the organization um, were passionate about doing their jobs well and about the Dolphins, and he was the top of the list. You know, um, I mean, he was just full of life. And that, that, that's the hardest part. McDaniel knew about Jenkins' death before the game, waited until afterwards to tell the team. Quarterback Tua Tungabailoa told us that the locker room was really shaken when it heard the news because Tua talked about how Jenkins offered to help him with his own charity, and that's really speaking to the kind of person that he was. Jake and Jenkins really cared about this team, really cared about the community, Carly. Well, Jim, as you pointed out, it's not just the Dolphins organization that lost Jason. I was looking through social media and just the outpouring of support. His impact on the broader South Florida community, that will be among his greatest legacies. No question about it. I mean, he really embraced this role. He was on the board of several charities. And I can tell you the last conversation I had with Jason Jenkins was he was aware of my connection to a couple of charities involving music and tennis. He called me and said, Jim, I just got my hands on a vintage guitar. Maybe your charity can sell it and raise money to help the kids. He also also texted me recently about connecting with a charity that helps kids learn how to play tennis because they want to reconnect that charity with the Miami Open here at Hard Rock Stadium. That really speaks to the kind of person that Jason Jenkins was gone too soon at the age of 47 survived by his wife and three children Carly